Hi everybody, welcome to 33JS Concepts Every Developer Should Know. Today we're looking at the concept number seven, expression versus a statement. Now understanding this will help you a lot when you are reading code. Um, some people read a lot of code, some of us don't read that much code, but still it will help us all, all right? What is an expression? Okay, so an expression is something that returns a value, okay? A return of value, that's an expression, something that evaluates into a value. The best way is to show you this right here, that's an expression. JavaScript is gonna take that and it's gonna be like, got it, this is six, all right? Everything that returns a value is an expression. Everything that returns a value is an expression. For example, this, A and B return A plus B, right? If you have a function like that, and then you do, I don't know, how, and do you eight at one, I don't know, five and six, this will be an expression right there. Why? Because it returns a value. Even if it didn't return anything here, this eventually will become undefined if there is no return, or this will become six and five, 11, all right? If we console log this, as you can see, we are gonna get the 11 that we're looking for. That is an expression, is something that is returning a value. Even if we didn't have this here, and we execute this code, we're going to get undefined, which is also a value. But as you can see, is returning a value. So again, an expression returns a value. JavaScript sees an expression and it's gonna resolve it immediately. That's why when you do this, you get 11 because JavaScript changed at five and six to the 11, okay? Again, this is because it returns a value. If there was no return here, JavaScript would just return undefined and that means that how will be undefined, all right? That's, it's very, very simple, but it will help you a lot when you are reading code. If you're reading some complicated as function and the function takes a lot of arguments and whatever, all you have to understand is what is the function returning? Whatever the function returns here is what's gonna come up here, all right? Let's give you another example of JavaScript evaluating your expression. So for example, this the one plus one is going to be evaluated by JavaScript and it's gonna put a two here and then it's going to execute console log two, okay? That is JavaScript for you. It replaces expressions with the value and then it continues, all right? That's the thing that many people maybe are not aware of, but it's very important to understand that. Now, what is a statement? Statement is an order, is an instruction. Statement is something like this. If true, do something, all right? Now maybe, let's, let's, let's check it out. If true, whatever, that doesn't return anything. It's just if true. It's a condition, doesn't do anything. It's an instruction. Now, what happens if I try to save that thing in a constant. What's gonna happen is that I'm going to have an error. It will say unexpected token if. Because I cannot save statements into variables, all right? Saving something into a variable is an expression. In this case, I cannot save a statement into a variable because assignment here, this equals equals, expects an expression, all right? equals cannot handle a statement. Just like, for example, if we have console log, this cannot handle a statement either, all right? Because again, console log is expecting an expression, is expecting a value. And that's it, that's what you need to know. Expressions versus statements. Expression returns a value. Expression is seen by JavaScript and is converted into the value. Statements, are just orders. If, else, else if, for, while, all those instructions 
those are statements. Now, it might be out of the scope of this video, but st I still want to explain about function expressions and function declarations. Those ones are a little bit different. So check this out. This is a declaration. I will do function at, that's a declaration, sorry, a and b, and I'm going to return a plus b. This is a declaration, all right? And there's a big difference between declarations and expressions. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to say super, no, I'm not super, awesome. And I'm going to call a at with one and five. And then over here, I'm going to console log awesome. Now what's going to happen is that I'm going to get six. And in your mind, you'll be like, wait, one second. You just, I, I just used a function that didn't exist in the line number one, but I used it and there was no error. As you can see, I got the six I was looking for. And this is a difference between function uh, declarations and function expressions. This one right here is a declaration. What happens is when JavaScript sees your code, it will immediately take all the declarations and put them at the top. This is a process called hoisting, which I think we will see later. So what's happening here is that when JavaScript sees your code, before it starts calling it, it's going to super quickly, as fast as he can, gonna do this right here. And that's why it will work. Still, it's not a good practice to have your code looking like this, but it's something that you need to know. Now, what happens if instead of doing this, we just put this at inside of a function? Let's say we just do this. What do you think will happen? Do you think it will work or do you think it wouldn't work? Capush. Now add is not defined. Because add now is an expression. And in this case, up until here, add doesn't exist. That is the difference between expression functions and declaration functions. All right. That's it. Very, very simple. I think there's nothing else to explain. So that was simple. That's good. On the next video, we're going to look into Jesus Christ, immediately invoked function expressions, modules, and namespaces. Fuck me. All right. Okay, people, I will see you in the next video. I hope that you enjoyed this mini, mini theory explanation. Not a big deal. Not a lot of theory today. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you want to see more of this. Let me know if you're bored or let me know if you plan to continue until the concept number 33. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and that's it. As always, be kind and eat kimchi. See you.